Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Altis 600 drone, a manned aerial vehicle that's currently in use worldwide. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. Air, Land and Sea The Altis 600 drone could be launched from land, air or sea, making it extremely powerful and removes a lot of limitations that other drones may have. This particular drone could be launched from a tube from land, or a launcher from a ship, or even dropped off like a bomb from an internal bay door of an airplane. Airplanes that hang the launcher on the side of the, on its wings could also launch this particular drone. And after launching, the drone's wings open up and start flying towards its destination. The drone is fully autonomous, so you could just program the particular target locations and coordinates and the drone will guide itself toward that area. The drone is certified to be used in almost all combat situations and the creators of this drone have also made it to be operational on sea against corrosions and other sea maritime factors. Great, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2 4 hours of flight. As I mentioned in the previous section, when this drone is launched, the wings expand and the autonomous system begins to take over. The drone could fly up to 4 hours, reaching its target from a further away location. This allows the operators of the drone to safely launch the vehicle without being in danger of an enemy airspace. If you look back to older drones, they all require the operator to be super close to the combat zone or the enemy target, and as such, puts them in grave danger of being attacked by the enemy. With the Altus 600, you could be a 4 hour flight time away and still launch the vehicle and have a successful target attack. I think this is extremely powerful because now the operators could be so far away from the enemy target. Imagine 4 hours of flight time and therefore puts them in a much safer distance from the enemy and still have a successful mission. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3. 3 to 7 pounds of payload. Now, the Altus 600 drone is a kamikaze style drone where it will descend down into the enemy target and then explode via kinetic energy but at the same time it could still carry 3 to 7 pounds of warhead. This greatly enhances its destructive power because now it could pack up to 7 pounds of explosives into the drone and when the drone reaches its target and goes for the kill, not only will the kinetic energy of the drone create a significant impact the explosive that will detonate once upon impact is also going to guarantee additional destruction and fatalities. It is super critical that the drone has a payload enough to create an explosion and destruction that could really hurt the enemy. Because if you think about it, if the drone really just dives down and hits the enemy target with itself and doesn't cause too much damage, what is the point? Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4. One-Way Trip As I mentioned in previous section, the drone is a kamikaze style drone where it, once it reaches its target, it will swoop down, head straight for it, and use the kinetic energy to explode on impact. So if you think about it, drones in the past are all very large drones that are used to fly to the enemy, drop bombs, fly rockets, and fly back. The Altus 600 is taking a different direction, where it's a disposable kamikaze style drone, where it takes a one way trip to the enemy and does not come back. This is more ideal because this now saves a lot of propulsion and weight for the return trip. Now, the drone is, itself is like a rocket and just simply flies toward the enemy and destroy itself along with the enemy. Alright, let's get to the next and final fact. 
loitering munition. Contrary to, for example, cruise missiles or rockets or missiles, where they fly directly toward the enemy target and tries to destroy it, the Auto 600 could be a loitering drone, where it flies to the general area of the target and simply keeps flying around, flying in a circle or different pattern, and wait. Simply wait for the target to show up and then destroy it. This is extremely powerful because enemies are now on the move all the time. And if you arrive at a particular location where the enemy is not there yet or is in hiding, the drone could be making circles around the area until it sees the enemy and goes for the kill. Imagine you fire a million dollar cruise missile toward the enemy target just to hit a farmland or a piece of land that has nothing on there. That would be a, such a waste. And so in this particular type of drone, that will not happen because the Auto 600 continues to relay data back and continues circling the area for the appropriate target to kill. I think in the future, most drones will be operated in this manner so that they don't have to wastefully destroy any drones or munitions and can wait for the right target to appear. Well that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.